Well, let's talk about these games, bro. Oh, OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 play. everybody how are y'all doing all right nintendo has just announced their 2020 game lineup and we're gonna go over all the games they announced but they also left this caveat that these aren't all the games launching in 2020 when you see the lineup it's sort of obvious that these definitely are not all the games that they did say and i quote at the bottom of the list it says and that's not all you can look forward to announcements throughout the year so keep your eyes peeled for more games joining the list and we all know about the rumors for the nintendo switch pro which we'll also talk about um later in this video and there is a smash leak of epic proportions for the next dlc fighter and all new leak we're going to talk about that at the end of the video as well but first let's look at the games coming out of 2020 going to share my thoughts on these games whether or not i'm going to be picking them up in the meantime this is what i do i play all my um of course all my switch games but i'm also heavy on a 2k grind i like nba 2k and so i always play that in between uh my games and so the first game Fire Emblem Tokyo Mirage Sessions is out right now. This is a Wii U port. I passed on it on the Wii U. Probably going to pass on it on the Switch. Two big games that I still want to beat on my Switch from last year. Fire Emblem um, Three Houses and Dragon Quest XI. So I'm going to be playing those two in between these releases. So um, Tokyo Mirage Sessions is out now. Hard pass for me. Next game. I didn't even know this game existed. Snack World. Snack World The Dungeon Crawl Gold. This is a dungeon crawler. Um, this trailer doesn't really show gameplay. But when I saw um, images of the gameplay, it looks pretty cool. If you're a fan of the isometric dungeon crawler type games, this game might be up your alley. And speaking of dungeon crawlers, Dark Siders Genesis. Oh, that Snack World launches in February. I'm going to give you the release dates too. Snack World is February 14th, Valentine's Day. And another perfect Valentine's Day game. Dark Siders Genesis. I'm, jo <coughs> I'm joking. Also launches on February 14th, two dungeon crawlers i might pick this up i don't know yet because I, I still have minecraft dungeons on my radar too and so uh, dark siders genesis launches february 14th on the switch also in february devil may cry special edition launches february 20th now the dude from devil may cry did tell us three dates february 16th which is the date we had the direct february 30th and February 13th, and we had the Smash Direct on February 13th. So interesting to see um, if we get a Direct or any other announcements uh, from Nintendo. Because I think at Nintendo's Direct, they're going to drop one or two bombs. And so all these games that we see now are not all the games that Nintendo will be launching. Luigi's Mansion 3 was dropped at the Direct. And so it came out of nowhere. And so I think we're going to get one of those at the Direct. All right, next game. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. The demo for this game is out right now on the Switch, but the actual game launches March 6. I might pick this game up. Depends where I'm at in Fire Emblem and Dragon Quest 11. I might pick this game up. I'm right now also playing the Taurus. The Taurus is a dope, dope, dope indie game on the Switch. Next game. And this is probably going to be Nintendo's big um, spring first quarter um, release Animal Crossing New Horizons do not sleep on Animal Crossing it looks simple it looks innocent but this game is a mega seller for Nintendo expect this game to push consoles 
early spring, March 20th. All right, next game, Trials of Mana. Let me go and get, where's my Secret of Mana Super Nintendo cartridge? I'm looking at it right there. I'm not going to get up to go get it. But um, um, Secret of Mana on the Super Nintendo, that's it right there. Just so the glimpse of, <coughs> of it. One of my favorite RPG games of all time. The music in that game was so far ahead of the time. The opening cinematic when it's, it's going down to the sword. Oh man, epic. And so, Trials of Mana, no brainer, is going to be a day one buy for me. April 24th. April 24th, Trials of Mana. I told y'all about um, Dungeon Crawlers. This is probably going to be, this is at the top of my list for Dungeon Crawlers in 2020 minecraft dungeons i don't know yet if i'm going to pick this up on my switch or the xbox i gotta see how the switch version runs but minecraft dungeons uh looks looks dope and it should have i believe it does have online multiplayer this is gonna be i'm gonna be a minecraft youtuber it's finally happening ladies and gentlemen all right the next game spongebob battle for the bikini bottom rehydrated comes out may 24th and it's a hard pass for me next game <laughs> pokemon sword and shield expansion pass i have to say i've never been a big pokemon dude but i i started playing shield wasn't feeling it stopped playing it um you know i said at the beginning of 2020 i'm gonna get back on my switch grind picked up picked back up um Pokemon Shield and I ended up really like I mean not even just the game okay I ended up really liking the game bro the gym leader battles was so dope and so the expansion pass is actually on my radar this was their best Pokemon direct in my opinion bro I thought this was a dope direct uh, the expansion pass drops June 2020 autumn 2020 according to nintendo next game <coughs> it's gonna be a big third party game outer worlds outer worlds comes they're saying early 2020 we don't have an exact date this game is already on the xbox and playstation but it's coming to the switch outer worlds wow this would be a perfect switch pro game nintendo i'm just saying switch pro is my jam right now nintendo come on make it happen all right next game bro this i remember seeing this game and warning a Sega Saturn so bad uh, as a kid Panzer Dragoon Panzer Dragoon they just listed as winter 2020 no definitive date this is gonna be an easy day one buy this was Sega's answer to Star Fox to um, Star Fox that Nintendo had bro Panzer Dragoon I um, always wanted to play it I never played it but everyone who's played it said this game is dope. If you're a Sega dude, we're going to get this Panzer Dragoon. Next game. This is definitely on my uh, radar. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I had this game on the GameCube, but I played the game single player. And this is a Final Fantasy game meant to be played multiplayer. We don't need different systems um, this time. Game Boy Advance, I think it was to connect. This game is going to have online multiplayer, I believe, was confirmed by Square Enix. Day one by Easy. Next game. Doom Eternal. I might be passing on Doom Eternal. Um, I get the Doom games for the online multiplayer. I need to see more on this online multiplayer before I'm in on Doom on the Switch. The next game could be a big one for Nintendo. No More Heroes 3. Never played a No More Heroes game, but I have to say this trailer really didn't do it for me. It was confusing, didn't really show gameplay. I'm all about gameplay when it comes to these trailers, and so I can't wait to see gameplay on this game. All right, next game that Nintendo lists, Bravely Default 2 day one by easy bro i remember when i beat bravely default game was so dope 
one of the best RPG games of all time, except for the final boss. Bro, the final boss, you had to refight the same boss like 20 times. It was the worst ex video game experience ever. I don't know how one game could go from such a high point to such a low point in one battle. But Bravery Default 2, it's going to be a day one buy. I already know what I'm going to get. Great um, gameplay, great story. Um, the art style is going to be lit. Bravery Default coming 2020. No date yet. The next game, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I still haven't beaten Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I did beat X on my Wii U. Um, I have to beat Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That's another game in my backlog. Um, I might pick this up. I'm on the fence with this game. Everybody who's played this game has told me this is one of the best RPG games ever. Ever. And so, um, it's on my radar. Not a definite 100% buy yet, but on my radar. This game, definite 100% buy. <laughs> Lego Star Wars. I'm not big on the Lego video games. I think they're a little, they're way too easy. You don't die. You just break into pieces, lose your points, and you come right back together. But, the Lego Star Wars games. Some of my favorite. I just love the Star Wars lore. And so, you already know, this is going to be a day one buy. This is another game. I don't know if I'm going to get this on the Switch or the Xbox, but Nintendo, if you release a Switch Pro, it'll, my whole Nintendo or Xbox thing, I won't have that dilemma anymore, whether I should pick up a game, a third party game on another system. Give me more power, Nintendo. Y'all could do it. Come on. All right. The next game, Hollow Knight, Silk Song. I might be sleeping on this series because I'm a big Ori and the Blind Forest fan. A lot of dudes are saying this is um, similar in many ways. I might pick this up. I don't know yet. Bro. And in 2020, they have listed Fighter Pass Volume 2. We're going to get a six fighter. Byleth, two thumbs down. Six fighter coming in 2020. And rumors are... Crash is now going to be DLC Fighter 6. If that's the case, that would be hype. Iconic, bro. Crash is really the... Because we got Mario, Pac-Man, and Sonic. Three iconic. Crash has, is iconic. In the early PlayStation days, he used to be PlayStation's mascot before Activision bought him. And so... Um, Crash, I'm in for Crash. That would be hype. That would be a perfect character for Smash. Not another Fire Emblem. Nintendo should troll us and put in another Fire Emblem fighter. <laughs> and rounding out the list for 2020 games, Deadly Premonition 2. This is like a seems like a horror mystery type game. Uh, really not feeling that game. Not feeling it at all. But this is why this isn't it. Those are the games Nintendo listed so far. They did say that that's not all. Bro, rumors, rumors, rumors are saying Nintendo's launching new hardware 2020. That's going to open the floodgates wide open for third-party games. And this is why this list, I don't even know why Nintendo did this list. Uh, there was that game shown at their last Nintendo Direct. It was made by the same dudes that made um, Paladins on the Switch. And it was 4v4 um, Rogue Squad or Rogue something. 4v4 tactical shooting. I mean, third person shooting. And the game looked real good. I mean, that game was at the top of my list. But it's not even listed here. And that's been confirmed for 2020. So, um, who knows? All right. What do you guys think of this list? What games are you most looking forward to? Um, for the Switch announced so far. I think at the Nintendo Direct, we're going to get a couple more bombs. But announced so far, what games are you looking forward to? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. Crash for Smash. Crash for Smash. Crash. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. 
you can choose any game of your choice how do you enter one subscribe make sure you're subscribed to this fire two make sure you're following me on twitter at obi one plays and that's it you're in for our monthly giveaways but that's not it it gets even better do you want a game with your boy every day do you want to join our private nintendo switch gaming discord become a member three ways to join one through youtube there's a join button right below this video it's two through twitch twitch prime you can do it for free or just subscribe through twitch and number three the third way to join patreon.com backslash obi1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description see you later peace